Hello there, this is Queen Vanda from WCTV. We are here today in Hyannis to celebrate the National Beer Lovers Day. And being a beer lover myself, I took the liberty to visit the Cape Cod Beer Company right here in Hyannis to talk about beer and most importantly, drink some. So join me. Marcus, the co-founder and also the business manager of Cape Cod Beer Company. Beth, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Cape Cod Beer. Thank you for having us. It's early in the morning. It but is. we got to do this now, right? Later on, this place is going to be filled. It will be, especially since I think it's going to be a little rainy today. And if people cannot go to the beach, they come here to drink. Exactly. Okay, so I'm interested to know what Cape Cod Beer is. What kind of flavor are we expecting? How does it look like flow? Well, Cape Cod Beer was a Cape Cod's original microbrewery. We were the very first one. And um, over the years, we've sort of expanded the beers that we make to meet the demands of the, the palate of the community, I guess you could say. Yeah. So we started with two beers, our red and our IPA. And then after, I don't know, four or five years, people were like, we want something light and easy drinking on the beach. So we came up with our beach blonde ale and then added a few more beers over the years. So we just, we continue to grow as the community demands. Very good. Now you did mention that at the beginning it was only you right here at Cape Cod, but now there are others that have moved yes. in. You're not the only beer nope. company. So how do you keep up with the competition? How do you differentiate yourself from others? Well, part of it is that we just, we're trying really hard to just be true to ourselves, right? Do what we do and do what we do the best. Um, and not to not necessarily worry about competition. You know, sometimes you can get distracted by that. And really for us, it's just about making the best beer that we can make. So how many flavors are we looking at? Oh, today, well, we always have our four year rounds. Okay. Today we also have um, our seasonal harvest. Um, we have a little bit of Old Man Winter. We have some oatmeal stout. And then we have our JFK Centenny Ale, which is one of those historic beers that we did in honor of JFK's 100th birthday. And now, how do you make a beer like that in honor of JFK? How, what, what kind of things goes into it? You know, it's funny. Sometimes there, it's easy to come up with something, right? So Centenny Ale is for the 100th birthday of JFK. Uh -huh. There's actually a hop called Centennial. So we used a beer, it's a pale ale, and then we dry hopped it with Centennial uh, hops. And so basically it, it kind of fit with the theme. The batches, how frequent do you produce your beers? And how, for how long do you let them um, age? Age, okay. So because our business is so seasonal, mm -hmm. we brew, I don't know, six, seven, eight times a week in the summer, and we might brew once a week in January. So it really depends. Um, our capacity, it's, it's how you usually talk about a brewery, our capacity is about 13,000 barrels. A barrel is 31 gallons. So we can, if we brewed every day, all the time, we could make like 13,000 barrels. We brew just over 6,000. Um, and most of that is used, you know, between Memorial Day and Columbus Day. Let's talk about your biggest seller. What, most people, when they come here, what do they want to drink? So it's funny because for the longest time it was our red, Cape Cod Red, right? And that was the flagship and it was one of the two beers that we first started making. And then when we came out with the blonde, the beach blonde ale, the one I talked about a little minute, a minute ago, um, we basically found that sometimes people would switch be between them. So they would drink blonde in the summer and they would drink red in the winter. And I kind of equate it to people that drink wine, right? You might drink white wine in the summer and you drink red wine in the winter. Um, so those two make up the largest part of the beers that we make. So what is one thing that you want people to know about the Cape Cod Beer Company? One is that you can come and visit us here. All right. um, we are open year round. We're here uh, six days a week. We have um, great space that the community can use so you can come and play games and try our beers. Mm -hmm. We have um, homemade root beer for the kids. Um, we also serve wine and cider for people that beer is not their thing. Um, and so we want people to come and visit us at the brewery, of course, and buy our beer out at bars and restaurants. I think the other thing is that it's really important for people to drink local beer. Um, when you buy our beer, all that money stays right here in this community, right? It goes to our employees who then go out and eat in restaurants and shop in local stores and things like that. And so when you're making the, a difference in selection between a local beer and a not local beer, it does make that much of a difference. So drink local.
go. Nice and nice glasses. I so see when, that you, when you come for a tour, you get a, a glass? You get a glass. You okay. get to take that home. You get five three-ounce samples. Mm. So you just keep coming up. We give you these little wooden nickels, and you, even though you're not supposed to take mm. wooden nickels, you get wooden <laughs> nickels, and you come back up, and you can try all the different beers. Very good. So you like that Very one. light. I can Very see myself sitting Very at the easy. beach, you know, enjoying the sun and get to have yep. this. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so what should we try next? Okay, the, the, the middle. Okay, so why don't we try the Harvest? Um, the Harvest is our newest seasonal beer. There you go. Ooh. So that one's similar to a German style Oktoberfest. It has nice, um, kind of a slight malty flavor. Still really easy drinking. It is. Mm -hmm. Even though it's early in the morning. Beer for breakfast. I know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm just very passionate about She's beer. She's tasting. She's not yes, drinking. Tasting. She's tasting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hit me with the other one. Okay. <laughs> uh, so why don't you try the porter? It's not the darkest, but it's certainly available year-round. Okay. Oh, this is my kind of beer. Oh, yes. So it's not too roasty. Like, a lot of people associate dark beers with roasty, right? Because they're only dark beer experience has been like Guinness. Yes. Right, which is also roasty and has a little bit of a sour mm -hmm. character to it, right? This beer is much more mellow than that. Um, it uses chocolate malt instead of roasted. Okay. Uh, roasted barley. And so it has a really easy drinking flavor. And it's funny, we find a lot of people that are like, I don't like dark beers, but I really like your porter. Yes. You know, so it's very approachable. Very nice. Well, I hate to waste the beer, so. <laughs> This will be in the outtakes, right? <laughs> and here for my camera person. John, this is for you. I hope you're driving after this. Mm. Yum. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to pour say. really tiny little samples. I Sorry know. about that. <laughs> I guess people, when they come here, they don't want you to pour the tiny little stuff. No, like, no, they high. definitely don't. I think we can go up higher. They definitely don't. It's a beer lover's paradise. Now, you are very passionate and you're, you're doing this business. You're not just a beer lover. You're actually in the business. So tell me, what's your flavor? What's your beer to go to? When people ask me that, I tell them it's like asking me which of my children I like better. <laughs> And my kids will tell you that I have a favorite, but they're not sure on any given day which one it is. Oh, okay. You know, it's hard because we've been doing it for th almost, almost 14 years, so 13 and a half years. And what you realize is that it's really hard to be passionate about something that you, a particular beer that you don't like. So yes. I have had one of each of these beers probably in the last two weeks. So I really, I kind of skip around. Oh. So I know that's not a good answer, but. No, no, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. Thank you so much for oh, allowing us to have this interview this morning. Um, yes. It's been our pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in this episode. For more information about the Cape Cod Beer Company, please visit their website at capecodbeer.com. Happy National Beer Lovers Day, and most importantly, drink responsibly. From WCTV, I am Queen Banda. 